Hello everyone, welcome back to VFX Factory once again and welcome back to another exciting Unreal Engine tutorial. In today's video, we will be creating this beautiful cinematic environment using all new plugin of Unreal Engine 5 that is Procedural Content Generation PCG tool. I will show you the process of how to populate the landscape with rock and plants and the caster i am using is from productioncrate.com this is absolutely free guys so make sure to check out the stops before starting the video make sure to subscribe my channel for more upcoming stops like this so without much further ado let's start the video so here we are inside of Unreal Engine 5 and this is the scene that we are going to create right now okay so let's create this from the scratch so first i will go to file create a new level and I'm going to choose this empty one so that I can show you the light setup so select empty level and create after that go to your place actor option and if you don't see this just go to windows and here you can see place actor option just click on this and you will get this option okay so here we have to go to this light option and just add one by one so first one will be direction light second one will be our skylight then we will go to this visual effect option okay then add this sky atmosphere volumetric cloud and exponential height fog after that we have to create a landscape so before that i'm going to enable some plugin so just go to edit go to plugin and just search for landmass okay you have to enable this one okay after then i will search for water because i'm going to create a ocean okay so enable this one also and last one will be our procedural content generation framework okay these three things you have to enable before before creating the landscape okay so make sure to enable these three things and i have already enabled the plugins so i will close this one so now i will go to my landscape mode and just make sure to enable this edit layer okay this should be enabled and hit create and let me change the light setup a little bit before that i have to do little bit of correction here if i select this direction light and i'm going to make it movable okay again if i go to skylight just click on this real time capture now if i hold ctrl and press l and move the mouse you can see the lights are changing its direction so let's create some mountain here so all you have to do is just go to landscape again and here you can see blueprint just click on this and here we have custom brush landmass just click on this and click anywhere you want suppose I'm going to click here and here you can see something like a triangle okay so let's uh, create a landscape from this this stuff okay so what i'm going to do i will rotate this like this and i will move the points separate points to different place so that my mountain will be big and this will be here okay you can move separate points here okay also you can add more points in this line so all you have to do is you can see this is a line and this is another line okay just go to this line any of the line okay and right click and just click on this add spline point here if i click here and now you can see another points is now enabled okay just like this you can add many of the points okay so i'm not going to use this yeah so our next step is just go to our uh, brush our custom brush and if i go down here you can see under this curl noise i will increase its value not so much let me change the light a little bit okay this much and you can see the shape of our landscape is changing okay in this way you can get your desired landscape okay i need this much after then i will go down and increase the displacement this will be 2 and displacement value will be sorry yeah this much is fine for me 
and again if I go up just here here we have G offset I will increase the value okay and yeah now you can see okay a beautiful mountain okay we will add our castle here so again if I go down here we have a option of terrace if I increase the value you can see a terrace kind of stuff is creating here so this is how you can get this kind of stuffs so yeah this is okay for me now what I'm going to do I will duplicate this one to opposite side okay for that I'm going to select this and same process press alt and move this here and rotate this like this and I can change its uh, properties a little bit if I want okay if I go down in its properties and I can change its value here okay basically I need this one for more details okay so I am leaving this for you guys just take your time and make it perfect so our next step is adding the materials in our landscape okay so let's go to our quixel and just go around the surface and play around all the materials that you want to add okay just spend some time and choose whatever you want so I have already downloaded the material let me show you uh, this one okay just for reference okay and these are some rocks that I'm going to use now so I will export this all to my project so let me select this these are the things that I'm going to use and I will click on highest quality and export and let me show you yeah here is my material so what I will do simply click on our landscape and drag and drop this one to this landscape material okay so don't worry about this tiling effect we will cover this this material is just for reference nothing else okay so our next thing will be i think i want to change its style a little bit so give me some time so before adding all the stops like rock and materials we will import the castle model from the productioncrate.com and this is absolutely free you can download from their website let me show you so you can see this is the castle that we are going to use right now and this is absolutely free okay and if you want uh, unreal engine ready file then you have to purchase this one okay and rest of the things you can get this in 8k you can download this and use for free okay so make sure to download this pack if you want to create this in okay so i am closing this one and i have already imported the files let me show you this one all the castle messages are here so i will add one by one okay so let me inform you again this scene may be little bit different from my preview okay so let's drag and drop this one to our scene like this and increase the size and place it here this is up to you guys how you want to make what you want to create what environment you want to create this is up to you so take your time and create your own okay so I will speed up the process of making this scene okay so make sure you will take your own time okay So this much I am going to add here because if I cover this one with details it will take lots of time and and I don't want to waste your time here okay. So this is up to you how you want to create and 
obviously this will take so much time okay so let's go to our next process that is adding the tree okay so before that we will add some rocks here to cover this all so for that i am going to my megascan folder and here i have all the rocks that i have exported okay so let's add one by one So let's add some tree now with the PCG tool not using foliage okay so this may be the new thing for you so make sure to watch till the end so let's go to content and create a new folder and I will type PCG tree okay and here I will click right and here I will do right click and you can see pcg plugin click on this and just rename this as tree okay so this is our main graph and and what we will do just open this one and here you can see landscape so we will connect this to our next node so right click here and search for surface sampler okay and then connect this to this surface and next search for transform points okay after then search for static mesh spawner okay that's all and before that one more thing if you don't know about this pcg what is this pcg tool and how this works i have some videos on this in my channel you can go and check out this all you can understand you can understand easily then you can use this tool anywhere so let's come to the topic so select this one and here you can see mesh and tree means here we can add our tree okay so I'm going to choose only three trees all around so I will click here for the three times one two and three so i will select first one open this and let me search for my mega scan tree this one make sure i am using mega scan tree here for my forest creation okay this is absolutely free you can get it from Unreal engine marketplace okay so just open the european beach your mega country okay and go to geometry folder and here you can see pivot painter just select any of this so i'm going to select this one drag and drop again second select this one and third will be this one okay and now i'm going to save this so i won't close this one i will minimize this so that we can change some things later again I am going to my PCG tree this one okay you can see the PCG is created so now all you have to do is drag and drop in your scene and yeah you can see just one click and your tree is in your scene so we have to do some corrections here so first thing is open your PCG graph and yeah let's see just go to transform points and here you can see absolute rotation you can see all the trees are like in different kind of angle okay to solve this we can click on this absolute rotation and now you can get this result okay so again you can see all tree are in same scale so we will change some scale here like 0 0.5 or 0 0.1 you can type so that some tree will be small and some tree are big means variations in different tree okay also you can add some variations in their rotation just little bit normal okay just like this 
and basically I want to change the scale more like 0 0.1 to 0 0.5 this is fine for me okay then if I go to my surface sampler and if I increase or decrease its value you can see the changes okay if I decrease the point extra the density is increasing okay so make it uh, something like 100 130 is fine for me no problem yeah this is fine and here you can see a bounding box if I click here and move this here you can see wherever I move the tree will be generate automatic over our landscape if I move it here okay so in this process you can add the tree in one click anywhere okay so let's create the forest so to populate all around what I will do I will duplicate or I can increase the scale okay you can increase the scale here you can type here like 50 and the box will increase its scale and more area will be covered okay again suppose I will duplicate this by pressing alt and move here just like this okay let me show you yeah you can see this forest guys this is looking next level okay and I'm going to add some more trees over our landscape I mean our mountain okay so I have to add here two three times actually I think again here I will increase its value like 50 yeah this is fine and some more trees here just like this yes yes this is looking next level okay yeah this is fine and yes this is how you can create your own environment like this okay again I am telling you this is looking different from my preview because that one was my first time render and this is I am doing for the second time so some difference will be come okay so sorry for that okay I am just showing you the process your work is to create your own environment okay I am telling this again and again okay and you can see guys how beautiful this is looking like a huge environment with huge forest okay also you can populate this forest all around the landscape okay let's try once I wish my computer will handle this if I increase its value like 500 yeah you can see this is next level my entire landscape is now covered with this tree guys let's change some properties if I click here and let's go to transform points you can see this is looking the next level okay you can see guys this is looking absolutely awesome so I'm not going to use entirely otherwise my computer will be crash so I will disable this one and just delete this okay okay so this is how you can create this kind of scene and after that if you want to add some ocean here simply go to this search box and search for water and here we have water body ocean just click on this drag and drop and here we have ocean okay just pull it down and you will get a perfect island 
kind of scene okay and this is for today's video guys if you like this video if this video is helpful for you please give a thumbs up to this video and if you are new to my channel make sure to subscribe to my channel okay for more upcoming stuffs like this so see you again in the next time have a nice day